Good morning. I've not been at you with any um, any tin foiling for the last few weeks. Probably had the uh, other things on my mind, or uh, nothing, or nothing really that's grabbed my attention as much as what I've done in the last couple of days, uh, particularly regarding Canada. And I always find it funny when people say, well, that's Canada or that's Australia or that's New Zealand or that's not that's not in the UK, so it don't matter. I think that's just a shithouse mentality, to be quite honest. Anybody that thinks like that is, you know, pretty much saying they don't care about other people in other countries across the world. And I think all this stuff that's gone on the last couple of years, it's been, uh, in my opinion, uh, it's been an attack on the global population, not just one part of the world or one country. It's been an attack on the global population um, through mass propaganda, what obviously comes through the mainstream media. And, and just on that thought there, mainstream media. So all you're probably seeing right now, the Prince Andrew stuff, you've probably got a week's worth of that. That's it. Uh, that'll get brushed under the carpet because uh, he fits in that elites category. And... Uh, the Ukraine-Russia stuff has been main news now for probably two or three weeks. Now the COVID narratives disappeared or disappearing, uh, particularly in the UK news. Uh, the narrative around COVID's disappearing, restrictions being dropped, etc., etc. Which uh, don't drop your guard. Uh, I would certainly say don't drop your guard on that stuff. Don't think that ah yeah we're out of the woods. That's all done and dusted. Just keep your guard up. Keep your wits about you. Um, but one thing that has totally uh, not been seen or heard through mainstream media is um, what's going on in Canada and that's the Canadian Prime Minister if you don't know, if you're not aware there's been a mass uh, truckers uh, demonstration protest over the last couple of weeks really maybe three weeks where uh, convoys of truckers have been protesting the mandates in Canada, the, the tyrannical mandates, which rightly so, everybody should be standing up against that. Whatever your beliefs are, whether you believe in uh, taking the jab or not, you should still believe in freedom of choice. Uh, so that's what these truckers have been protesting about. Uh, now, uh, what happened was the people of Canada, uh, there were a, a GoFundMe page set up where people could, um, basically donate to the truckers who were out protesting fighting for freedom and I think they were in the region of eight million dollars that were raised right now that GoFundMe uh, account what was made for the truckers was frozen and then everybody was refunded now what also happened was uh, the government then started freezing bank accounts of people protesting people donating to the truck protest freezing bank account just let that sink in just let that sink in people donating to people who are fighting for freedom for everybody within the country because that's what it's all about try, trying to fight for freedom of choice um, and the Canadian governments have took these uh, powers or used these powers what have not been used in God knows how long to start freezing people's bank accounts now you imagine that you're somebody that believes in freedom of choice and you believe strongly enough that you're willing to donate to people that are fighting for your very freedoms and your bank account gets frozen literally frozen just think about that how bad would that be and that's what's happening in Canada and on top of that there's a lot of police brutality that's going on in Canada now I actually saw a screenshot of a police uh, Ottawa police WhatsApp must be a WhatsApp group where they're kind of bragging about being on horseback and trampling um, the, the protesters. And all these pro protests have been very peaceful in Canada. They've been like family days out. There's been bouncy castles and activities going on uh, and all this kind of stuff. It's, it's looked like festival, carnival style, to be honest. So nothing aggressive about it. But if you do hear anything coming out of uh, the Canadian um, Parliament or the, the Canadian Prime Minister's mouth in particular, they're trying, to, they're trying to make everybody believe that these protests have been violent and aggressive and all the rest of it. And they might show you some odd clips of 
stuff where it's got a little bit leery with the police or whatever but they won't show you the the carnival atmosphere that's been created by the majority because they want to create that divide so that's all that's all that's been going on over the last two two and a half years uh governments and mainstream trying to create a mass divide uh, amongst the people civil unrest to cause no end of problems and if you look around your own circles and your friends and families and so on there'll be people that are um kind of fallen out no longer spend time together no longer talk to each other uh, maybe had um, big family bust ups over all this stuff and it's the old tactic the true old tactic of divide and conquer uh, and they use it uh, they use it with race religion uh, you know you've, you've seen the BLM stuff and all the rest of it it's constantly used as a tactic uh, to cause unrest amongst the population um, and that's what's been going on in Canada uh, but you're not seeing none of it through the mainstream and what's also interesting is the western governments are quickly to condemn putin and we don't really know what's going on over there you're only seeing what's coming out in the media has it got troops there are they doing a live uh, exercise is it something that's been going on for ages whatever it is but the the, the mainstream narrative is that uh, Russia are about to uh, invade Ukraine we're absolutely certain that that's what's going to happen that's all the distraction has been this time in the meantime what's been going on in Canada crickets not heard a peep about it yeah something one of Jeffrey Epstein's uh, child trafficking uh, associates uh, one of his main uh, I don't know if you call him a client or a friend or an associate, however you would describe it. Somebody who was in amongst it all with him, a French guy. He's just been found hanging in his prison cell. Quite funny that. Uh, and I did read something, I don't know how true it is, that the cameras were off again, like when Epstein died. Oh, so the camera, cameras malfunctioned that night. What a coincidence. So there's all these little things going on in the background which typically lead back to the elites and the people that control. Uh, most things, the narrative around uh, mainstream media and so on and um, you're not hearing a peep about what's going on in Canada or, or Epstein's friend the Prince Andrew thing, like I said being and gone being and gone in the, you know, probably might have been a week's worth of news on that and it's just I've not seen anything else since so, just keep your wits about you guys this this, this video really is just, just what I've been observing the last probably the last few weeks really but I've not really felt strong enough to speak about it until this stuff with the Canadian Prime Minister because I have looked everywhere uh, in terms of mainstream I've, I've digged everywhere and I've also looked there's a guy called Andrew Neil who is always uh, quite aggressive with his approach when he does interviews with people I, to be honest I did used to like him and the interviews he used to do because he used to get uh, he used to ask the uncomfortable questions very vocal when it comes to all things politics and so on I've looked on his uh, Twitter feed today and there's not a peep about what's going on in Canada not one mention over the last 48 hours on his tw Twitter feed uh, Boris Johnson's speech I, I read through that there's a, a speech flying about what he's, he did yesterday or whatever I looked through all that expecting to see maybe some mention of Canada not a peep it's just all about Russia Ukraine Russia this Russia that so basically just trying to get everybody prepared that uh, if it kicks off it's Russia's fault and in reality I just think that's a, another lie just like when I and many other soldiers got sent to Iraq uh, because we'd been we'd been led to believe that uh, Saddam Hussein had weapons of mass destruction and nothing were ever found and that rat Tony Blair goes and gets an MBE or whatever it was he got a knighthood or whatever it was Sir, Sir Tony Blair absolute fucking disgrace uh, so just keeping your wits about you right now I think is really important not, you know it might not seem important but it is for the sake of the future of the children there's also a guy called Klaus Schwab uh, who is the founder of the World Economic Forum if you don't know what that is please go and look into it go to duckduckgo.com it's better than Google you'll find more information that's not hidden on there and also go to Twitter and just put in the um, the search what's trending Klaus Schwab and look at the stuff that's going on there somebody mentioned his name in Canada about the World Economic Forum and how he infiltrates governments and they got closed down oh sorry we can't hear you we're losing connection shut them down so there's all kinds of stuff going on what you should really be paying attention to because it might not affect you right now but it may well affect your children and their children and so on and so on and so on so keep your wits about you a couple of things to look into Klaus Schwab on Twitter World Economic, World Economic Forum Canada what's going on there 
and the guy that uh, hung himself, Epstein's friend in France. All right, have a great day, and I'll see you soon.